Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt It's a wild ride When you're being in Being in And life is shit but you're positive Let's find out what it's like to live a life Being Ian, being Ian With Jordan How many comedians have fucking jokes about Stephen Hawking being at the Epstein Island? Like, yeah, I do. Foo boy. Yeah, I do? I love mine. Yeah. <laughs> but it is. Oh, these so. are... <laughs> Highly I don't but what's their jokes? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You're well, I'm ready sure for this is great. awesome. Yeah. You're I ready for your own session. I'm just is. saying. Not only am I proud of mine, some comic, some woman, some fucking woman. Hey. Uh, some lady. No, no Jordan here. That's what this is. The <laughs> He Man Women Hater Space. <laughs> <laughs> some lady wrote. Uh, I'm, I'm humiliated that I did that to you. Don't be or, humiliated. Or I love in it. In front of you. Me too. Right at it. Right at it. I'm humiliated. Okay. All right. Let's start the I can do this Let's podcast. <laughs> I, I, I'm really like I thought I, it was I awesome. Do that. Welcome back to another episode of B and Ian with Jordan. <laughs> Jordan is MIA. She's on the road. She's leaving the podcast, and she is. <laughs> That's what it feels like. You she is Michael Jordan. <laughs> Being in with Michael Jordan. <laughs> Dude, your old podcast, how do we save this pod? And each pod is trying to get Michael Jordan. <laughs> that would be get, the best. Yeah. At least just get a Michael Jordan impersonator. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why we got a Jordan impersonator today. <laughs> you me. I can't find love. No, but that's a really good idea. You should get a Michael Jordan impersonator. Just let's just start fucking around. Okay, but also I'm done was, with these the Michael Jordan idea was mine, so you could also give me some credit there too. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Evolution. So point to both Jordan's of not here, but the Greg. arguments are. <laughs> <laughs> she has to explain what happened. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Welcome to another episode of b and with Jordan. Uh, Jordan's on the road, so we have our esteemed guest and I friend. I thought you were going to call me Alex. What? I thought you were going to go, so we have Al. Can you... All right, so nope. when we're uh, recording, <laughs> I don't do well in this seat. I'm All right, finding switch out. You want switch to switch? Seats? Yeah, 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 yeah. Switch. Switch. Greg, you sit here. Oh, Anthony, okay. you sit here. The yeah, wake is going to explode on this oh, side of the room. No. The boat is right. going to tip. Anthony, hello. Anthony's comfy, cozy, wearing socks and sweats. This is my <laughs> yeah, spot. Man. Yeah. This is the new pot. The, socks like and sweats this spot with better. Anthony. <laughs> I find there you go. <laughs> yeah? What? Yeah, man. Oh, God. And, Jesus and throw the mic away. Testing apart. one, two, three. <laughs> testing. Okay, should we do an intro for the third time? All right. Ready? Okay. Yeah. yeah do let's another go. one. <laughs> I did that too. You have to blow into these. You guys are absolute morons. How do you not know to blow into that? Because we're not <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Fiddlers? No, wow. fiddlers. They're not fiddlers. That's very satisfying. We're diddlers. Put Sorry. your mouth on it. Put That's your mouth. I hate that joke. No, I, I like that. I go. love sitting here. <laughs> this feels way better. What? Good. Well, I never welcome sit back there to another again. episode of Being Ian with Jordan. I feel pressure when I'm sitting there. I Why? That. I don't know. You touch me. <laughs> you touch me to it. Does that you'll, make you'll, you feel pressure? You'll, fe you'll see. You'll feel you'll it. See. <laughs> see, I hear the thing. See, I hate I mean, it. Anthony likes to J.O. on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to the Ian Molest. I've experienced it many times. <laughs> yeah. I start to call him a molestar <laughs> in the he's, field. He's, he's a, <laughs> this guy's a molestar. That sounds like an 80s cartoon. <laughs> molestar and the pedophiles of space. <laughs> right, DC. Bam, bam. DC's like, we blew a lot of money. <laughs> I'm all sorry. <laughs> really haven't recovered since. We really got to make it work. Uh, one note: Can we not use child's underwear as his mask? <laughs> <laughs> but it's his superpower. What don't you get? <laughs> Hit by a car when he was little. His brain never developed back the age of seven. Now he gains his powers from the North Star and also. <laughs> you, you get the Diddle, 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 Little, little. He comes from a planet where everybody was molested. <laughs> <laughs> no one can walk behind anyone. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> they ruin every relationship with trust issues. Apartments are mainly showers. <laughs> As they try to wash it off of them. My powers come from the tumor on my cerebral cortex. <laughs> There was like a, there's an article three years ago about a guy with a tumor and a brain. Oh, what? I remember that. Yeah, yeah there was like this article. Any molested people? There was a guy no. who, there was a guy oh, who, yeah. I got it, I got it. You Let got him it. finish. Yeah, it was, yeah, I got it. You there's got it. If you need help, I'll take over. And throughout, wherever you want to sit to get more yeah, and more yeah, comfortable yeah, as this yeah, thing goes on. I'm good on. here, but. I think it would make the folks at home feel comfortable if you sat off camera. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy who became, uh, who found himself attracted to children. Uh, but he had kids and a wife, goes to a doctor, turns out to get a brain tumor. They removed the tumor. Feelings went away. Years later, he has the feelings again. Tumor came back. So it's like this fucking wild thing. Also, That's most nuts. people who are like, uh -huh. yeah, brain injuries come from, or that was just his excuse. I'm going like, to start going around touching kids and be like, it's cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're the doctor. Imagine you're the doctor. Tickle, tickle, I have a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're the doctor who knows about that cancer, though, and he's like, well, I got bad news. You have a brain tumor. And I got worse news. <laughs> right. Side effects aren't you're going to be hungry. You're going to be hungry but for I do something got good else. good news. I got kids. <laughs> Molestar and the I, guardians of the... I I was I was in uh I was in Vegas. I went to Red Rocks mm -hmm. and uh we we climbed out in the secluded part of the mountaintop, you know, and uh and then like a child and his family started coming up and I thought it would be funny to be like I was like making fake prayers to the mountains. I was like, oh mountain gods, yeah. this that the other. And so I thought it'd be funny to be like, oh mountain gods, please turn off the switch in my brain that <laughs> makes me attracted to salacious children. We are in the mountains and things could happen. Make the young boys stop dancing in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And my friend was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. Brendan Sagalo, Greg Stone, Stone and Anthony... Dorito. Dorito, Anthony Dorito. Dorito. I changed it. I legally changed it. I finally did it. Yes. I made the switch. Yes. Mm. Captain yeah. Crunch. Or no, wait, that's not. <laughs> yeah. He's Mr. It's cool. Tough, man. He's cool Ranch. Ian leans in with so much enthusiasm and hope for his jokes. You can't deny them. No. That's Do you know what thing. I mean? You don't have to be. <laughs> Come on. Ruining my ranch. Dude, <laughs> you look at me. If you feel like it's how you look at me, I always put. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Okay, okay. Everybody hands I'm in. Cursed we some... will all. We will all put each other over today. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But this is what we all do. This is the gang. One, two, two three. three. The gang. The stars. We're the molestars. <laughs> uh, did you guys see not uh, the? the well, I don't know if Tell I want to talk about this. You see uh, that video yeah. of Swartzen on on stage, like being like fucking hammered. They had to bring him off. I no. watched it without audio, so I didn't know what was happening. Yeah, he he was I, apparently he was like he had a Pablo Francisco moment for sure. Oh I, no! The, the video that they put out, I was like, this doesn't seem too bad. And then I watched more of it. Apparently, everybody was like taking their phones out, and from uh. what I saw, I was like, ooh, he's doing like Pablo. Fr he's like, you know how Pablo Francisco just kept doing those three fucking yeah. impressions. He was in a loop, really. Yeah. Oh. Swartzen got oh, into got into a loop where he's like, hold oh, on, hold on, man. let's go, let's go, let's I thought go. He was sober. Let's go, oh. Jason Statham, let's go. Let's no, go. he was Statham. saying Jason Statham. Yeah, yeah. And then That's he started funny. going, and then he started going like, I don't know, it was it was really, uh, I think he got too high because I've been there. He yeah. came out and said like that. This is what happens when you take an edible and get like oh, fucked he did? up. Like he said that he was on a lot of drugs and alcohol. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. But wasn't he sober? Because he looks no. like a guy who should have been sober, right? He's not. No, no. Yeah. that sucks. He needs to get. But sober. I've I've been that high before on stage where you're I like I was that high too and high. I fell oh, at the creek. Oh, I remember this. And Devito had to take me home because I refused to be around anyone that didn't have a dead dad. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna breathe. We're gonna slow down. We're gonna tell that story. <laughs> you know, honestly, man, it's the details the you forget yes, as listening. life goes on. That's right. We're gonna not move on. You're gonna tell us the story about the creek when you fell down and then said only dead sons, sons of dead dads, could take me home. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would only. I I only wanted to be around people that had dead dads. <laughs> and so, yeah. Him and Chaplin drove me home. That's hilarious. It was just the dead dad mobile. Back to Ian's place uh, to drop 
him off. Oh, oh man. Yeah. yeah that what was were so you on? Like, what uh, What did you take? Too like, many weed? edibles. Too many edibles. And you fell off the stage? I, no, That's I a big fell. Stage I was in the off. back. He was in the back. I was in the back of the creek, <laughs> and I fell, and I hit my head on, like, a mop and a bucket, and I cut my head off. <laughs> Shut up. Did it hurt? Now? <laughs> Cut your head open? It just hurt. Ooh. I can remember the thump. <laughs> Because we were in the front uh, of the room, and 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 I think you know, you know, like people were just kind of like Ian's like getting fucking tossed tonight. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, man, he's being fun tonight. Yeah, like and 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 then all of a sudden you were just kind of you know when like you get in the you you were kind of talking about where you get super high, you just kind of go into you go to a place. Yeah, and yeah. I was watching you from a distance go to a, like wobbling, <laughs> just like a Mortal Kombat character, just kind of <laughs> wobbling. And then yeah. all of a sudden the show was going on, and you just heard. Clank, 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 and then just oh, noise. there were multiple clanks. There was, well, there was the Whoa. mop, there was I've the bucket. I've never heard of this. It sounds like a children's book. There, there was a mop, there was a yeah. bucket. Yeah. There were symbols. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, then you came from under the pile. I, I believe the show stopped, and then we took you to the other room. Rebecca gave you a bunch of free food. This is also what I remember. Good for Rebecca. She was really trying to sober yeah. you up, so she was like, he needs burritos and water. Stat. You know yeah. what Rebecca gets. Yeah. 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 We gotta get you 15 burritos <laughs> right now. She's like, flaunt us. She yeah. was flaunt us. We yeah, well, this guy had 400 flautas in front of yeah, his yeah. face. And then, yeah, Ian went, I can only be around people with dead dads. They get it. Yeah. So then it was just me and Chaplin, and then we drove you home. Yeah, it was so funny. Man. <laughs> Domito, do you remember the time? I don't know, because I think you were there. We yeah. went to UCB to do improv, yes. and I fell on my face. Yes. What? what? Yeah. On stage at the UCB we theater? We were doing UCB improv, and here's what I remember. I remember talking, and the floor, I didn't fall. The floor came to my face. The floor <laughs> was like, I'm coming to you, pal. And next thing I know, it, I was on the ground, and no one laughed. And I remember being like, that's funny. <laughs> well, because you all- I guess UCB stands for, um, crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy bitch. There the it whole is. time I'm there there is. Is. Yeah. Yeah. UCB. Yeah. That's your voice. Voice, man, that's your voice. <laughs> that's your voice, man. We're putting you that's over. <laughs> or the Seven Eleven days is the uncola bitch. I don't know why I said and that's that. yours. <laughs> that's yours, I man. I like both that. Found it, man. Stars. <laughs> um, yeah, that hey, that was uncalled for. <laughs> uncalled for. <laughs> That's exactly you, brother. That's exactly that's that's your you. voice. Um, come on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we need a studio audio. Yes. <laughs> Is Ethan losing his shit over there? Probably not. No, he's, he's doing more better. Yeah, yeah. I, I Why are you quietly. tying a noose around your Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> quietly... brought a bathtub in and a toaster. <laughs> How did you bring the tub down he's here? Been, yeah. <laughs> he's been he's been foraging grout for the last ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> also, Anthony, remember to bring up my thing just in case we don't feel like Yeah, yeah. but I want to go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. well, let's talk about the UCB. Sorry, Wait, story. what is he said? Um, cool boys. <laughs> uh, cool boys. Uh, come on, boys. Uh, come on, boys. <laughs> like a coach in the 50s would say to his Olympic rowing team, come on, boys. We can we can move through the water faster than that, can't we? Um, I had no idea that me going, um, crazy bitch would be <laughs> that's that long. We, that's because we all promise to get each other's back. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Molestars. 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 The Molestars. Also, that can't be the name of the title because we will be <laughs> on the yeah. That's the name of our friend group now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you will be on the group hey, the Molestars. <laughs> you know, we'll really get somewhere in America when you can have superhero <laughs> representation like that. <laughs> you know, yeah. obviously, like, you know. My like, power is that I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how hard I want to. So funny. He just shows up <laughs> to crime scenes and not fucks kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, another day in the life of a hero for me, I guess. <laughs> you think you've got me, Molesta? Yeah, Look at the children. I brought with me. No! Oh, no! I will get away with a gold molesta. Before you leave your house, your wife is like, don't go get him, tiger. <laughs> yeah, Superman's You're, just standing there like, we never should have opened this up to more people. <laughs> You're yeah, applying right. for a job. Is there? Is this great? I think uh, crossing our job is yours. Is there anything else we should know? Oh. I thought it would be it would be really funny if there was a Batman villain that called himself Batman. Like, he's new to Gotham. And, oh, it's funny. and Batman's like, what's your name, villain? And He's like, I'm Batman. <laughs> and then Batman has to go, well, no. <laughs> no. Uh, so what is the well, no, well, no, you can't do that because I'm Batman. <laughs> you know, I am uh, Batman. Okay, well, has no one told you? <laughs> no, I'm new here. I just left from... <laughs> I just got here. I from, just got here from Cleveland. 
I have two bees. I'm a bat man. TM. I, I am a baseball bat man. I am a bat man. Yeah, he's, he's got a bat, and he's like, well, I guess it's kind of different. <laughs> I'm from Louisville. Look, I, I fuck the bats. So if you're not doing that, you well, can't be yeah, Batman. Yeah, he goes, I shoot bats from my hands. I, what do you do? You just dress like a bat. If anything, you should be dressed like a bat man. My wife is a bat. This, this isn't up for discussion. This isn't up. I've been here for seven years. Well, you can I see have... Batman is trademarked by Bruce Wayne. I mean, oh, fuck. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> now I have to kill you. That's not really my thing, but I have to kill you now. I ran over you for that. It wasn't worth it. It's, I was going to say it was worth it. <laughs> Fair enough. You said All trademark. Right. Here's, here's a spare. Yeah, man. I have the paperwork. I went to Bank of America. So, Greg, you fell at the UCB Theater. Why don't you Bank tell us America. all about that? I was going to ask for Anthony to talk about because I don't know. That's all I told you. Well, this was yeah. This was also part of it. Where Greg would just jo- Greg. It was a night. It was an improv jam. So you would just join other Yo, groups. Those were yeah. the best. The I remember best. So when fun. the first time we all hung out together was at one of those. That's right. Yeah. yeah, it was so much fun. Improv is also the rollerblading of comedy. Doesn't get a lot of respect. No. People and make- the hardest part is telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> First of all, telling my parents we gotta support everything. You gotta support everything. <laughs> yeah. If we're yeah. going, we're going. You like, gotta yes, support I everything. Like, yes, <laughs> telling my parents I was gay wasn't the hardest part. <laughs> telling them I rollerbladed was. <laughs> right. <laughs> but what so anyway. so you had all these like um what was great is uh, you had all these like very like serious improv nerds, yes. uh-huh. and you know I, I'm not you know they're just they're no, no, fans no, 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 no. of the field. No, they're nerds, but they're also nerds. Yeah. <laughs> they're also they nerds. are fucking nerds. <laughs> oh, if I intern, they'll give me a free class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we did that. Yeah, but that's the <laughs> second point. <laughs> um, I got fired. <laughs> you got fired <laughs> from UCB. Yeah. Why? But let Anthony continue. <laughs> so so you would All have right, these people who are like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there were people raping other people to UCB. <laughs> Nope. That and did they not kept them around. Yeah, yeah, they liked yeah. them. And they fired you. Well, they also tried. raping people. Well, yeah, that was part of it. <laughs> but, you know, that was... Go ahead, Anthony. <laughs> In and out of scenes. That was, <laughs> that was my, my UCB character. I was rape man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but comedy the rules vi- is they the can't say no. <laughs> they have to yes and it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you're coming, you go, blackout. Yeah. And it was this horrible. Gonna, the victims, they would horribly, they, they would, well, during well. mid-rape, they would horribly, they would go, I wish I could be tapped out right now. <laughs> Right. They couldn't. Hey, Greg would go, you should have given me another suggestion instead of that little outfit you're wearing. Wow. I want to hear this story. Put me over. Put me over. Put me over. Put me over. Yes, and. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. All right. Come on, Greg. <laughs> all right. Also, I don't think this story is good enough for how much we've delayed it. No, it was very funny, though, because... You, they would have these people that were just, they were there, they were trying to hit their beats, they were they were reading Del Close, they were doing all these things, and then Greg would show up, mind you, 10 years older than everybody, <laughs> out of the shadows, high out of his mind, and he would just go, we're all black in the scene. We're all a bunch of black guys. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. And I would just be in what the back, people do? drunk and high watching, and Greg would be looking at me like a, like a kid who was like looking at his parents like I'm doing a good job right <laughs> they hated me that's awesome. that's awesome they were very sensitive and I'm very Italian yeah. Yeah. we're all black is so funny and hey, we're all black now what's up mother hey yeah. and then he would it do better that. not be the first of the month exactly. Greg, so Greg uh-huh. walks into his face does that and then falls flat on his face <laughs> that was the trajectory of events it was Greg got in a room with a bunch of like very very, like woke NYU students and went, we're all black now, you see? <laughs> and then fell down. <laughs> we can say the word. Yeah. We can say it. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that part, but that was in there. <laughs> Really? You yes. know what? I don't remember that, but that is how my brain works, so the I man, can probably the say. Man said the N word. I said it was <laughs> an improv jam. You oh, said it? Approximately, as you did. It was a time when you could. It was, this was like, Everything we're going was still on. Cool. We're going on like 12 years ago, where, right. you know, people were, you know. He was the president. <laughs> it was a different country. Um, but yeah, no, it was so funny. Hey, I'm putting you over. Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know if I should have. I don't know if you should. I mean, you distance yourself from me now. Right, right. 
I'm molestar. I'm always close. <laughs> can I can I say one? Please, can yeah. I tell you guys one real quick story? Uh-huh. So we did improv a long, long time ago. I was doing New York Comedy Club, and I was like, we had not done improv in like 10 years. I get super high at New York Comedy Club. I walk out in front of the pit, and I walk in, and they have an improv jam, and I go, I'm so high. And I went, hey, you're going to let they, they'll let me go do improv? And they were like, yeah, you could go down, and they'll let you go. And I went, I, right now, me, no <laughs> license. You're just going to let me in there and go do improv? And they were like, no <laughs> license. <laughs> I, have no, I don't know. have a license to prom. I guess you guys are cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, yeah, you can. So I went downstairs and I'm watching these people do improv, all brand new. And they're all like, hello, I'm a doctor, but, but, but I'm a monkey. You know, and, and you're, you're like, just, yeah. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching bro. this and I'm going, don't do this, Greg. Go upstairs, get out of here. But I swear to God, the guy running it goes, everybody gets up tonight. Sir, you're not, you get up now. And he pulls me on stage and I'm like, okay, I'll just stay on the back. I'm not going to say anything. And he goes, no, nope, you, you start the scene, pushes me in. And I just went, I'm just a guy who got really <laughs> high and is now doing improv. And then someone jumps out and goes, I'm just a doctor who got really high. You know, I'm doing improv. And I went, no, stop. I am really just a guy who got high. And then they kept jumping in and be like, I'm an airport pilot. I'm too high to fly this. I went, shut up. I'm too high. I swear to God. And then I just walked out. I, like, I got to go. You guys, you're fu- it's not fun. I got to go. And I left. In front of a full room. They're like, this, this guy full room. Yeah. Yeah. And then so you, you get a phone call. Greg, this is Lauren Michaels. We love your high guy. We love your too high to be here guy. The next oh, day you're man. like Bart Simpson. Yeah. I didn't do it. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have too high guy fitted for weeks. I love Brendan's got a couple impressions inside him that are locked in, and these always will surprise you about yeah. it. That he'll bust out, and you're like, I didn't know you did a Hillary Clinton. I, I almost I almost yeah, didn't laugh impressive. at that because I was amazed. I was right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually it's actually Dude, killing that. He did one Damn. two Tony Soprano singing emo songs. Oh yeah, what's a what's a good emo emo song? Is it worth Can wanna... you even hear me? <laughs> when I'm I was a young boy, hold on, <laughs> I gotta get into it. I'm all so sick of being tired. I'm all so tired of being. I want to do one that I know. What's, Anthony, how do you do? Can, make Anthony damn can't sure. do any of this because he doesn't know. I any. went to the bank and my mom's a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that, that's most of it, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker loves rap. This motherfucker loves rap. <laughs> no, <he's> like, <laughs> you don't know. Oh man, Greg's character's back. <laughs> he's black. <laughs> he's black. <laughs> he's black. He's black. <laughs> <laughs> he's back, he's black, and he's brack. What? <laughs> Couldn't get a third rhymer. Yeah, I got a couple impressions up my sleeve. <laughs> I was trying to do uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, but I don't think all I right, can ready? do it. Here, wow. we're all going to do improv, okay? okay? Our improv team name is Home Improvement. Not the uh, Lola stop Stars. It. What? I just want to stop. Yes. Yeah, you stop. I love that. Oh. I, I'm not going to laugh. Thank I'm you. Look at you. I'm gonna say, I fucking love that. Thank you. you what was it? Home improv. <laughs> home improv. That's great. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is great. Uh, we uh, are uh, home improvming. Can I get a? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> can I get a? <laughs> <laughs> The whole time I have a fence. Yeah. Like, Can I get a suggestion <laughs> from the crowd? Yeah, stop raping Pamela Anderson. <laughs> what? That's a thing I made up that now people are going to look Did up. Tom, uh, <laughs> Tim <laughs> Allen rape? I don't know. I made that up. He's trying I to drive traffic. Let him cook. 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 Got to put over whatever we say. <laughs> yeah. I just put allegations on Tim Allen that did not happen. Stop Tim Allen. Oh, man. This is either the most fun or people have already turned off. Fuck them. Fuck them. The cameras aren't even on. I just need friends. That's great. First of all, I want to hear you. I want to hear. I want to hear. Tony Soprano doing emo songs. The gate was locked, so I jumped it. Wait, that's how it goes. What? The gate was locked, so I jumped it. Hold on. Well, What's a good your lipstick song? is calling. Don't bother, Angel. <laughs> That's I know exactly what goes on. <laughs> You need to do that music video. Yeah. Full that, song. Yeah, that's a that's, that's great, it. dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Why I got can't one for I you. do anything? Okay. Uh oh wow. Okay. You're gonna play a song no one knows, no. bro. No, it'll all be obvious. Does no. anyone else got impressions? Anthony, you, you got Dash Ian's the type of guy that does karaoke and does like a B-side to like a We're talking back all Sunday song. Each other over. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody. Shout out Wasted Space. Great band from Richmond, Virginia. And shout out Display. Yeah, that's right. It's time for some spring cleaning. Look around your den. The Delaware den 
and take down those old rib posters and get some fresh, clean disc plates. Disc plates are metal posters that take 20 seconds to install and they don't damage your house. You don't got to worry about ripping off paint or drywall or anything. It just sticks to a magnet. It's as easy as that. You know me. I like women and I like smoking. Why not combine? The best of both worlds. A woman smoking. Yeah, I'll pop that on the wall. Why not? Hey. Hi. How you doing? She don't talk much. I don't like it better that way. Know what I mean, brother? With licensed designs from brands like Garfield and Pac-Man to gifts perfect for sports fan, movie nerds, and video game enthusiasts, display it as what you need for all your friends and family. Save up to 33% off when you click the link in the show notes. Get 22% off on up to two plates and 33% off when you buy three plates or more. 33, 22, 33. The combination to my locker in high school. Just kidding. Discount will automatically be applied to your card when you click the link in show notes or use code B and E N B E I N I A N when you visit displate.com. And let me tell you something. Also, if you're a single dude, decorate your apartment. Nobody wants to come over and have it look like you, they're walking into Patrick Bateman's place. Okay. Pop something like this on the wall. It's simple. You don't got to find a stud. You don't got to find a rigmarole. Just this, a, a, a magnet and this. It's a win-win. Displate.com, code B and Ian, or click, click the link in our show notes. Let's get back to the show. Bye. Okay, ready? <laughs> Remember hands down? No. That's Hands what down, this is the best day. Uh, uh, oh, wait, my hopes are so high, the kiss might kill me. So won't you kill me? So I I'll die. I'll keep happy. you my dirty little secret. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm putting you over, but That's I great. wanted you to like mine. <laughs> I don't know that song. <laughs> Hands down, you know that song. It's like it's like I hate to be that guy, but I did rollerblade, so it comes out sometimes. It's like the most most romantic, beautiful song. Yeah, hands down. Uh, yeah, you remember? Dashboard uh, professional. You hands know it. down, this is the best day I can ever remember. <laughs> I'll always remember the, the sound, sound of, of the stereo, stereo, the dim of the song. This sounds like, like Jordan's. The scent uh, of your hair I'm quitting that this podcast. You twirled in your fingers <laughs> and the time on the clock <laughs> when, when we realize it's so late and this walk that we okay, share. Okay, yeah, right. I gotta put you over by. By telling you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's, that's actually that's very fair. Uh, if only for the uh, rest, song rights. I'm not only putting you song. over. I'm putting this bit. It's over. <laughs> this bit is Can over. Can I say? Yeah. There was a moment when I was singing where I heard talking, but it sounded like it was underwater, and I really was in the moment. Singing, <laughs> you blacked and out, I was bro. Trying. You blacked out. <laughs> Can I tell you something fun about Man. that song? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. To put my this is not funny at all. I don't know. I'll just tell you. My I'll son, put you over. To put my son yeah. to bed, uh, I would sing to him. You have to sing to him. But you don't like when you're so fucking tired when your kids. You don't. You, you only have a few songs you know the words to. But the one I know every word to without listening to it was that. So I would sing hands down to my son Aww. every night to put him down. Aww. But it is a song about like a first kiss and a woman. So I'd be singing him this romantic like the smell of the when he realized it's so late and that walk that we share <laughs> together. And he would my son would look at me and go dad. Stop trying to fuck me, okay? <laughs> I know you're one of the molestars, <laughs> but maybe maybe don't do it here. Yeah, I'm your son, not your own blood. It is funny to sing like a song that has like- When you're home, you're dad. Yeah. When you're out there. You go through the door, be molestar, be the boop boop Batman, be whatever you want. But home, you're dad. Uh, that's funny. What were you going to say, Brendan? I was going to say, it's funny to uh, sing a song that has like a screaming part to your- Because it's does that have a screaming part where it's like, it's no, got the singing and then it's like, and you put a No, it's not a walk. It's not. It's just like he's just a little passionate about it. Oh, he's just like and the walk that we share. And one tear. I love together. music that's so fucking angry, dude. I love when people are screaming in music. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I don't know. Thought Anthony I'd can. bring this conversation in. Really. It's okay. My man let loves it no. <laughs> let, it Only. let it breathe. I don't. You don't like that stuff? <laughs> I know. I no. I was gonna mention Connor Oberst. Because he's a screamer. He's bright eyes? Yes. Wow. Of course, all, every time we talk about this, this guy always like, I'm cool, I'm cool. I like bright eyes. I like that Interpol. Was, bright eyes? You don't know. Bright eyes is cool for 14-year-old girls <laughs> in 2007, Craig. I don't think this is a badge that is of our honor. demo. We have a lot of girls stuck in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> That's how 
how you save the pedophiles. <laughs> what? This is how. What? The problem. Just get on board. Oh. And we'll sort it out later. <laughs> I figured it out. All right, put you over. I, think I already know what you're about <laughs> to say. They like the kids, right? So <laughs> if you have someone, <laughs> so yeah. they like the kids, right? <laughs> so if they went into a coma when they were children, they come out. Their brain is still kids, but their bodies are adult. No, you want to do the reverse. No, because it's help. not about yeah. yeah no, no, a, yes. no. What you what you, the plan is? <laughs> this is your solution. This is the plan to pedophile. No, no, you're kind of on the right track <laughs> here. Hold on, no, no, Brad, they don't get it. When kids are in comas, we should send pedophiles in there to fuck them. Nope, that's nobody not what gets I was <laughs> Nobody gets hurt. They don't uh, remember it. <laughs> They won't remember it. The pedophiles oh, get to get away. Uh, wow. Putting you over. Two ways to skin a cat, I, I, I guess. Will, I guess with I this will one. put you over, maybe, but you can do better. <laughs> um, yeah. So you're oh, saying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here. I got it. I'll okay. put you over. When kids are in comas, we bring the pedophiles in the room and kill the pedophiles. All right. Yeah. Oh. That's how you trick them. You know, pedophiles are people, too. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just do it slow. <laughs> Why doesn't Chris Hansen ever? <laughs> this has all been a dream sequence. Man. <laughs> Shit, spoken, spoken like a guy who's never tried to use an internet cafe in Bangkok. <laughs> They're not all people, all right? Brendan. <laughs> they ruin lives. Yeah. You should get uh, Chris Hansen on this show. Can you? Can we? Kind of reach? He does podcast. He does podcast. Does he? So really? Yeah. yeah. Ethan, can you draft up a nice email? To and I bet he loves talking about how often he catches these fucking guys. <laughs> what? Wait, he what is this big about it. saying? What's he say? Have Take a, a seat. seat. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get what him in here, here and go. And he goes, where Take should I sit? And I'll go. Stop Take it. A seat. This is how you do it. You bring a comedian on. Uh -huh. Middle of the podcast, <laughs> you have Chris Hansen come in and go, This hasn't been recorded, but why are you here? That great. is how you bring yeah. him on. So funny. That's great. <laughs> that is great. Crystalia, this is what we want to say to you. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. No, 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 but but if someone fine. totally safe, then don't be like, uh, hey, Sal Volcano. Uh, <laughs> the Sal's, nicest, sweetest Sal's like, man Yeah, ever. he's like, I knew this day was I coming. About this. this is what I'm mad about. This has nothing to do with anything we're talking Let's about. Let's hear it Go while ahead. me and Anthony oh. accidentally touch our arms <laughs> like this. So are you garbage guys? I've been saying this for years. They need to get, they need to get Oscar the Grouch on that podcast. <laughs> Honestly, the best guest oh have. So he literally God. lives in garbage. That's so funny. Now, how do we make that happen? Hilarious. How do we make that happen? Is Ethan, when you're done drafting the email, <laughs> email Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. So are you garbage? How is he not on that podcast? I told them, and they went, that's a great idea. I said, we'll make it happen. If they get big enough, one. I could see that being a Super Bowl commercial. That would be a great mm. Super oh, yeah, Bowl commercial. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Ooh. Yeah, we got to get them on that. Oscar, I'm have on you ever eaten next Doritos? Week. Do you think Chris Hansen ever, when he was, you know, kind of getting to know one of the pedophiles, ever was like, oh, man, I don't want to, I don't want to drop the hook on this guy. Yeah, yeah. really yeah. getting along with him. May you know, I say, I don't goes, know if there well, was ever a, a getting to know period. With this guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not like getting they were to about to do another you. take and they're just sitting there and he's getting like, to know oh, you're into fish, about huh? you. I, don't I always thought it was the getting to know you show. I, I never really cared for the, I never stayed for the end part, so I didn't really understand. Stand. Dude, how many pedophiles are in jail right now with Chris tattooed on their arm, just go, like on their hands, just going like, I'm gonna fuck that guy. <laughs> None of them, because they're all mentally retarded. <laughs> That's I, true. I don't That's know why they never pulled true. the. I don't know why they never pulled bad. The, all bad. I don't all know bad. why they. I don't know why they. I don't know. Just <laughs> I got a loop. Oh, no. I don't know why they never Sports pulled them. the. I'm also a prostitute move. You know the classic move when a prostitute approaches you and you have sex with them and they go, now I owe you money. I go, wait, I'm also a prostitute. You also owe me money. I guess that's even Steven. Are you saying why <laughs> Why did the pedophiles on To Catch a Murder never played Freaky Friday? That sounds like a bar <laughs> joke. The, 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 the minute Chris Hansen walks in, you okay. go, thank God you're here. I'm here to capture someone who's trying to get a prostitute. They do. They do that. They you actually do, the do that. No, no, they actually do that. Me too. They I'm go, also undercover. <laughs> I'm one of you. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with That's you. Hilarious. And then you put your arm around me. You're like, let's get out of here. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. You, you go Agent Stone. Yeah, let's go to a bar, talk about how we're both pedophile yeah. hunters. <laughs> they do do stuff like that where they're like, I'm just making sure she's okay because... Like they 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 use that excuse like oh I'm, I I want to make sure you know she's home alone and there are bad guys out there and then Chris Hansen's like is that why you said you want to come on her face yeah and these well I have to say is that what why they you say? said you wanted to <laughs> stick your foot in her and wear her like a snowshoe <laughs> 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 I 
Oh, that was, well, oh, my it's cat, cold out. My cat walked across the keyboard. Yeah. Chris, you're Chris Hansen. <laughs> it's funny. Chris Hansen walks in. Yeah. Chris Hansen walks in. He sees me. This is what I say. I go, actually, I'm not into children. I'm into people pretending they're children. So do you still want to fuck? Because I know right. she's actually 30, but what gets me is an undercover cop pretending yes. she's a pedophile. What do you, what do you think? Hook. I'm stupid? You think I'm going to fall for, for this little trap? Yeah. I knew she was actually a 30-year-old pretending to be a Helping pedophiles get out of yeah. cases, I don't know. Yeah, there's someone listening to this going, that's fucking good. <laughs> wait a minute. So wait, are you saying, and maybe I'm mishearing, you're saying... The, the ploy is the, the pedophile goes, I'm not here for them. I'm actually here for you. Yeah, I'm here for and you. And I was trying to set this up the whole time. Well, I would say I would say to her, I go, like, I knew you yeah. were a cop undercover, and that's actually what I'm in. I see. I'm into cops who are undercover pretending to be children. That's my thing. <laughs> uh -huh. but, you know, and then she goes, yeah. And I go, yeah. yeah. And then you have to fuck that woman, which probably is harder for them because they don't like women. They like the thing they like. Sure. So, you know. I want to put you over. <laughs> I think it's. Yeah. yeah. What's happening? I'm all, I'm all over, man. I, yeah, I guess. I put and you, over, you dude. You follow? You follow? Do, I follow, do, man. Do three out of four follow? I'm there. All right, I want to be, on. I want to watch the show of the wife of the new age pedophile hunter. You know, these guys that are like just volunteer pedophile hunters. Oh, oh yeah. Those guys and they are spend so funny. all their time get finding pedophiles acting like little girls. I want to be the guy's <laughs> wife that's like, you doing it online again? He's like, I'm saving them. I'm saving them. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, you're like over his shoulder. He's like, yeah, I'm a little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think that those guys are probably also, because like there's a pedophiles. big thing in the parenting community. We just had a woman get arrested because she gives all this parenting we advice. We just had a woman get yeah. arrested? because I'm in the group. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we we put her down. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> she, uh, Did Frank's you sing group. Dashboard Confessional when you were putting her down? <laughs> no, she, she was, uh, she's a big, <laughs> big <laughs> uh, Brendan also said, we, we, it's a French group. <laughs> I missed that. I'm sorry well, I did. Yeah, I would, uh, thank you for amplifying. We were white flying voices. fast, <laughs> and I didn't want that one to go unnoticed. <laughs> All right, so you're in your French group. <laughs> no, no, no. I, this is a quick thing: is that they they have these moms who give advice, and then this mom who gives advice for like children. She was like a wildly abusive mom, and she just went to jail. I think for like 60 years. And I think because Wait, what, what advice was she giving? She's like, well, this is how you do this kind of parenting, and you want to talk to them this way. Meanwhile, she's going home handcuffing her kids and like throwing hot water on their face. No way. Yeah. She and I think that's what a lot of these pedophile Oh, are I actually heard about that. Yeah. Wait, big. this happened in your neighborhood? No, in the community, in the parenting community. I follow a lot of parenting Instagram yeah. things. <laughs> yeah, that's like a national Wait, news story. Here's where my sure. head was at. You gotta speak fast here because <laughs> we're all screaming. You were. So I might not be getting all the words. <laughs> my my thoughts. You feel like you're under the gun. I'm under the gun. Right. We're all under the gun. My I don't thoughts. Feel it. Were yeah, that you were <laughs> meeting up at like a public school cafeteria <laughs> for a community parenting no, meeting. No, no, that's no. what I thought too, oh, man. <laughs> no, just we're all going so fast. So I you're calling like an I Instagram understand. account a community? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, there's like yeah. a Facebook community. <laughs> He's got parents. <laughs> I know, but we might be two against two on this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm on your side. This doesn't feel too the crazy at all. The rollerblading community is an online community. Well, no, now I also thought yeah, you were called... physically showing up to be a part of. Oh, I no. thought they were the like the local. Yeah, exactly. The parents in was, your neighborhood. Yeah, I thought this was a Queens PS7 the comedy totally. community, community is all over the country. You get it. I don't think we should spend a lot of time on this. I think I we gotta it. hash this out <laughs> yeah. to an excruciating yeah. degree. Yeah. All um, right, definition yeah, of okay. community. I get what you're saying. I get yeah. what you're saying. I, my mind first jumped sure, to that, right. and then as you were telling it, I, I was thought like, it was a woman you knew yeah. that you were yeah. interacting with. It was like, Greg, do this with yeah. your baby. <laughs> no, it was this woman no. who was on uh, TikTok who was like giving a lot of parent yes. advice, right? Yeah. Yes. And then turns out she's like torturing her children. Right. Yes. But was the advice she was giving good? I'll be honest, I never watched it, and I don't even think I even know who she is. I just want to be part of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Our little community. I want her to get a laugh. <laughs> you know? You're I, doing great. Am I? You're, you're doing, doing Greg. Greg. You're doing, I know, I know. He, he said you're doing Greg. <laughs> no, you're doing Greg. You're just, just being you, the same. <laughs> medium. <laughs> lukewarm. Uh, well, that being is, Ian and doing Greg. <laughs> to, to say that that's, however your head is in the moment, that's how you take it. You know, mm -hmm. if you're like, you're doing great, you're like, I'm fucking doing all right. Mm. But then if you really don't believe in yourself, you're like, I'll jump off a, I guess I'll just jump off a bridge. I guess I'll just I'm doing Greg down. again. <laughs> I told a woman, I mean, I put this a clip online, but I had a woman, I was doing a joke and uh, I went on stage and they were, they were so bad. I went, if you guys do this, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> so laugh at these jokes. That's hilarious. Myself. And they were like, "Ha!" Huh? And I went, "I'm serious. My, I have a child. I have two kids. If you don't laugh at this set, they will be fatherless." <laughs> no one thought that was funny. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. That was no, funny. because they I would be at dying nothing. at that. Yo, I was bombing at some fucking show in L.A. and uh, 
I or no, no, no. I was doing fine, but they pulled back on some jokes, so I intentionally started to bomb. And I go, "You guys are a couple. It's nice. Reminds me of my my ex. She killed herself three years ago today." <laughs> and everyone's like, "Oh my god!" I go, "It was Jesus incredibly hard to Christ. deal with." How did she do it? She said, I was too good at eating pussy. You ever get your pussy ate so good, you kill yourself? Yeah. And everyone's like, what the fuck is happening? Wow. I like that. funny, though. I was the only one laughing. Yeah. Uh, that's I usually sucks. how it goes. I used, do, I used to do a move on podcasts. If I was ever on a podcast and the, the people wouldn't let me talk or they were shitty or I didn't like the podcast or I didn't like the people, I would always do this move where I would tell a story about how my stepdad. <laughs> yeah, you know the story. My stepdad. You know the story. We found we found these cats uh -huh. um, and I wanted to keep the cats. Don't say something bad about cats. So I will understand that none of it's true. <laughs> okay. But you, you have to hear that something bad is going to happen to the cats in the story. Oh. So the whole story oh, is that sense. people would, they would talk to me and I would go, I would just be like, oh, my dad found these cats and the cats had kittens and my stepdad said this is inhumane because they're going to die on their own and the only humane thing to do is that you have to put them down and then my stepfather made me I to this day I don't know how I did it I had to I had to put all the cats down by hand and I remember throwing one in a roof and <laughs> throwing one, just throw, like I would tell the story I would murder these cats and these people go what the fuck is he talking about but I, none of that happened but I just thought that to ruin their <laughs> podcast fun. I would tell yeah. a very long story about how I'm a sociopath who had to murder cats because my father made so me that's so great what, what podcast are you doing there was one and also uh, the story kept getting more refined so <laughs> at one point there was a detail that he had to throw one at the ceiling fan and, and it's just like he would imitate the noise and the cat on the fan <laughs> yeah I still hear it in my dreams yeah. <laughs> and I would like have you know Greg is telling the story and he's locked in and I have to keep a poker face through this whole thing he did it once and it was years ago on the uh, on comics Ryan? at Foxwoods podcast so they would have you what? do so at Foxwoods they would have you do the podcast at the end of the weekend and it would be the owner it would be a manager it would be the host it would be like a server there would be eight microphones yeah. and then the headliner the host and the feature so you had a bunch of and they didn't know that like I don't know if they had, didn't have headphones, whatever it was, but like they didn't know that they were all talking at the same they were time. All fucked up. Yeah, they, they were, were all really super drunk. Up. So then Greg starts quietly, quietly at a whispers pace, telling the story into the microphone. So if you listen back to this podcast, you'll hear a couple guys being like, "I don't know, you think the Patriots have it this year, or whatever the fuck they're talking about?" And then quietly you hear a horrific tale of a guy who had to kill nine cats at the hand of his stepfather. Yeah, yeah, so that's funny. awesome. Yeah, yeah, because it's like you're gonna fuck me. Oh, I'll tank the whole fucking thing. Yeah. I'll yeah. bring this whole this shit really, really funny. to a halt. Like who's never going back on Keith and the girl? <laughs> <laughs> Kid you not, that might have been one of the yeah, ones I did. That might have been one of them kidding. too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is they still around? Yeah, they still do the podcast. Is they still around? Is they still oh, we're all black. <laughs> we're, all, we're all black again. <laughs> this man has not left the scene. <laughs> oh, did you ever tell them that story, the Pasta Twins? What? The Pasta Twins. That's one of my favorite. Well, the pot you and me, our improv group was one of the greats. Yeah, they, I'm really. I'm was setting Savage you up. I'm Animal setting you up for a great one. I don't know, up, I don't know if I could deliver. Was Savage Animal a, an improv team name or just the name of your show? Savage Animal was Anthony and I. We would write sketches together and we would do comedy and then we would put on a show and the show was always something wild. Yeah. Uh, like we had the well, our favorite, my favorite, we put on the show, the beach party, where the whole show was beach themed and we like. We had we edited ourselves into top into uh, point break. Point break, yeah. <laughs> so there's like yeah, like we had the masks and everything. Like they the, were about to rob someone. We we were we put ourselves in the robbery scene. And this is 2004. Yeah, that's like awesome. this is before anything was happening. We had a guy dressed like Bernie Lomax. Every time the music would start, he would he would deadly walk around the room. Um, and then at the end of it, I'm trying to remember how, but I died. How many people were in the that audience? That was Sorry, in the maybe. first show. That wasn't the be that was the birth of the beast. Oh, so somehow I know I like thought I died in the show. I think I died in the robbery of Point Break. Oh no, you're right. I'm sorry. You and did. You, yes. Bernie brings me back to life with yes. Bernie Lomax powers. Right. And somehow the angels came in mm -hmm. and you made out with one of them in prop yes. two. Yeah. As yeah. a bit. Whoa, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, it was pretty was, cool. Was, was it a woman? Was it a hot woman? Was a woman. Yeah. It was a woman. Was she hot? Uh yeah. Just was so she yes. one of the comedians? <laughs> yeah, you're right. She, she was, was very attractive. She was very attractive. Was she a, what was she, a comedian? Was she a prostitute? <laughs> no, I didn't publicly <laughs> take advantage of her. <laughs> Did you like her? Like hey, her? No. <laughs> no it wasn't, he wasn't like a mullet. It was like the comedy was happening, so like yeah. she came in to like deliver us, and it then they looked at each other. part of it. And the improv led to it. it he wasn't molesting anyone. No, 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 no. Did you guys ever go out after that or anything And I would argue she liked him. 
more than Anthony liked her. It might have been that case. Did you eat her pussy? I tried, <laughs> tried as best as I could during the bitty. And, I just but, need to make it but, clear. God damn it, they wouldn't not, allow it. I need to make it clear. Anthony it. did not take advantage of a woman in a scene. I'm not at all. We were two that. actors. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, that that's But that night we were one. But we were one actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that yeah, that was really fun. And then that uh no, Savage Animal was more sketch stuff. And then we started when we first moved here, we started doing improv before stand up. Yeah. So we would go to this improv jam, and that was what I was uh saying for the pasta twins. Right. And just to point out, I was doing stand up, but you kept saying, I'm not ready yet. Yes. So, because I know you love stand up more, so we were doing improv to try to do it. But I was That's doing so stand up, and Anthony was like dipping his war. We were doing improv together, right? And the Pasta Twins was also we we would always come out with these different names. The Pasta Twins, we were two men in love. <laughs> no, that was our karaoke <laughs> name when we did that karaoke. Was, yeah, yeah. Two men in love. <laughs> so, and uh, the Pasta Twins was me, Anthony. This guy, Gowie, who was 99. Gowie! Was, yeah, was his probably, name Gary? Yeah, I know Gowie. 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 Oh, my God. Yeah. He was in your improv group? Yep. Yeah. And he was like an 80-year-old <laughs> Jewish man who was on every episode of 30 Rock. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that <laughs> yeah. fucking guy. And He's also in every friends. episode of 30 Rock. <laughs> friends. He was in our Colleagues. improv group. We were, <laughs> we were business uh, partners. Yeah. Colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was my mentor. His catchphrase like, "Say what?" Was it? He would say. He, he would, would say, say what? the craziest things. Let me just tell you who the third, the fourth member yeah, is. Yeah, this was is David huge. Hester Bay. But walk them through when we first saw him. And when we first met David Hester Bay, he had put on every computer <laughs> was a video of himself on YouTube. Greased up at oil, no shirt on, singing to it was like oh, Sade. Sade. Smooth operator. Dancing, smooth operator. <laughs> he also is the man who uh was arrested for stalking Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> what? Jumped her fence. <laughs> he got in a I heard, took a cab from New York to LA. He took a cab? A cab. <laughs> Whatever hundreds of thousands of dollars that would cost. Dropped off in front of her house, jumped her fence, and was then arrested for stalking he Jennifer Aniston. He didn't take a cab. That can't be true. He was in our group after he had done that. So we had known this was who he was. And you were in an improv group? He was I mean, a that's psycho. a perfect yeah. improv. Get well, like, like a perfect, like, okay. like, give us a star to stalk and give us a time and Every a place. Every suggestion is like, you're ordering beef Pizza. He's like, yeah, I can't eat this pizza. I got to go to Jennifer Aniston's house. So I want to say we're heroes because by being in our group, by being in our group meant he wasn't in someone else's group. And if he was in someone else's group, he was going to try to feel up the woman. That is how it always happens. True. We're doing a kissing scene. Right. So and when I say our group, it was uh, it was an open mic and you got rules. Pick. So we always were like, hey, you guys want to be on our team tonight? So it was that. It was multiple times. And uh, so we go down there, and they're imp and I remember him, like do a suggestion, and it was like there's someone be like a broken down car, and then Gally would come out and be like I'm a broken down car and I talk, but I'm a doctor and I have AIDS. I'm gonna fuck everyone else. And so then me and Anthony, all we had to do was go. Wait a minute, did you just say you're a doctor who's a broken down car who also has AIDS? How did you get AIDS? And he would go because I was on the moon and the planet and I crashed on this. Wait a minute, and all we would do is just repeat back the insane things they would say, and the crowd would lose their yeah. mind. <laughs> Easiest comedy we ever do in our lives. We were weekly awesome. champions. Weekly champions. <laughs> oh my god! I and wish you guys were still doing. This. And it was yeah. And it was also it was a I'll three. Be Gary, if you'll be the stalker. <laughs> I'm already halfway there. It was great too. It was a I'm an three Omaha. on three improv <laughs> jam. <laughs> three on three improv jam. But they let us have four because no one would ever partner with Gowie and David <laughs> Esther Bay. And um. Oh my god. Yeah, it was the best dude. improv I've ever done because they would introduce wild concepts and you would just play the straight man and it was just, it was we would crush. You would just literally repeat whatever the yeah. maniac would say. My my mustache is raping share, and you'd go, "Hang on, <laughs> your mustache was there any part of raping part of share? This? Was there any party when you guys were doing this? You were like, let's just let Gowie and David Hester go up together, and we'll not go up and just see what the fuck happens." Ninety percent of it. <laughs> yeah, we weren't we weren't in the mix much. No, we were off to the it. sides. We're Your more teachers like directors. Were like, Guys, yeah, I understand, and I love it. Yep, but you gotta get on stage. <laughs> <laughs> we would let them go, and then we would pause, mm -hmm. and then just go, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see what you just saw? <laughs> that is art. <laughs> and then we would bow and walk away. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Yeah, yeah. they just needed somebody to be like. 
you know, look, look at this. This is insanity. You guys should should get the back, get the team back. Well, Gowie's yeah, dead, and David Hester Bay. <laughs> hopefully, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead to us. <laughs> Gowie's dead. Yeah, <laughs> Gary passed away. Yeah, There's I'm not laughing at that part. Mid scene, mid scene, <laughs> and no one knew. We were like, "Damn, he's really fucking owning this." And yeah. David Hester There's a documentary on Gowie and Alan Shane. Really? Yeah. Did Alan Shane oh, die? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. His, yeah. His ashes were famously at the creek, uh, the downstairs open I mic for a long Shane. time. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hey, if I die, don't put my ashes near a comedy <laughs> club. <laughs> <laughs> I want Ian to break uh, sobriety and snort my ashes. <laughs> I want to be inside you comedically. Okay. Well, we can make that happen sooner <laughs> rather than later. <laughs> Is that part of sobriety? <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, it's, will he get fucked up from your ashes? Well, I'll come out of his body. Well, he'll suddenly start fucking men again. <laughs> That's more. a good question, actually. Huh. If you... If you die from an overdose, like heroin or whatever, and then get immediately cremated and somebody snorts it, will they feel the heroin? No. Are you an idiot? I like how you, you pose this as that's a good question. That's my favorite part of it. Oh, no, man. I, no, I want to put a you over, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I know we don't like to talk a lot of science you know, on this guys, podcast, but I do have fucked to up, man, pose because, this. Because there's a lot of people asking questions throughout history, and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is the kind of stuff. Stuff that you know. Yeah, I'm I'm Louis Pasteur right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Man? I also, uh, you know, I hate to. Uh, nah, that's not even funny. What? Um, yeah. Say it. Yeah. No, I was gonna like shamelessly plug my special to be funny, but then, I, then it was just a real shameless plug, and then that so plug it up. I yeah. just plugged it. I already feel dirty. Tell, every, not, tell not everybody. Every camera. Tell everyone. everyone out there in TV land. Greg Stone has a special. David Hester did nothing wrong. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, see, you got to do your own plug or else I'm going to make it up. Yeah. March 6th, which I don't know what day it is. It's tomorrow for us, but it could be yesterday for you. What's What are we? When does this thing come out? March 6th, nobody presents I thought he was stone. the one asking the question. I know. No, I hey, myself, if you poop I, on a pee, will you? Uh... I, always did, I always wondered if, if you had stomach cancer and they cut it out yeah. and I ate it, do I then get stomach cancer again? <laughs> And I asked the doc, I had a doctor on my podcast, and I asked him, and he said, and I quote Ian, what are you, a fucking idiot? <laughs> he said that to yeah, you? Yeah, that's not how that works. But that's a great question. If, if you cut out yeah. someone's cancer and eat their cancer, do you get cancer? No! Stomach cancer. You have the cancer in your stomach again. You technically have stomach cancer. It's just not operative. But the cancer, <laughs> but I don't believe no. That's like being like, if I take a tattoo off my skin and put it on your no, skin, does that same. tattoo be your skin? No, and I don't care about your, how stupid of a voice you use. I think that's a good fucking question. <laughs> that's that's sincerely. Couch, this is a smart <laughs> graduator class. Yeah, you can say anything in that, in that retard voice over and there. make anyone sound stupid. Oh, hey, if what? you put a bunch of metal together and you fly to space, can you be in space? Yes. Actually, Brandon, you can. Yes. Yo, you know what's funny? We went to a battle box in Vegas. Me, if you put a bunch of oxygen in a tank and then go on the water, can you breathe through the tank? Yes. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes. And if you stop drooling, Brendan, we will let you try. As <laughs> do I say to my son, high five. Love it. <laughs> uh, dude, so in Vegas, we went to BattleBots, which was like so fucking fun. Me and Atel went and we were betting on each fucking one. That's and great. we were like yelling, like, get them! <laughs> and then the next week, I brought Luke and Yamanika. That was hilarious. Wait, Luke the rapper? Luke. No, Mona's. Oh, love Luke. <laughs> yes. You know the Luke the rapper from, isn't he from the fuck shop? Two Live yeah. Crew? Yeah. Uncle, Uncle Luke? Uncle Luke. <laughs> <laughs> you brought Uncle Luke? Yeah, brought Uncle <laughs> Luke. He wouldn't stop yelling about pussy. <laughs> I love Luke Mona's. So we, yeah, dude, he's like, I think it's fake. It's set up. It's predetermined. I'm like, Mona's no, it's was saying not, this? you idiot. He's like, it's just like wrestling. They, I, I don't even think they're doing the controls. I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> the battle so bots are harder. So then the battle bots, that's what he thought, battle right? Battle bots is so fun to so, watch. So Bill Dwyer, shout out, the, the original host of the Comedy Central show, he does the one in Vegas, right? He gave us free tickets, had us come backstage, look at all the robots and everything, right? 
So you, must, you got to do a meet and greet with the robots? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was a tough one for me. <laughs> this guy's got a saw in his head. <laughs> I had a hard time. I should have won it. He's cheating. It I love, is fixed. I love your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be on sometime? Why I'm are just not in the mood to talk. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> what did he say? He, he did that. Yeah. He said, goes, why, why are the, the robots, robots Indian? Indian? <laughs> your robots are Indian. All my robots are Indian. They're made by Indians. <laughs> they're very... So, I am like my father. They love. They believe in reincarnation. Yeah, and sometimes you come back as a battle bot. So everybody so knows that. I, in my homeland, I was. If you reincarnate, a retard, I was they an Apple retard? Watch. <laughs> Wait, what did you? No, that's hilarious. I, I'd love to go back. Ian, <laughs> Ian's joke was really funny. Oh, in well, my country, you. I was an iPad. <laughs> man, that was Ian's that, joke. That yeah, was the best joke. Yeah, that was. Yeah, 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 that, was, yeah that was a tough call. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you just have the confidence, you know. Yeah, me. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So, my phone, my iPad, told, uh, my <laughs> Apple Watch told me that we're in a loud environment right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. They tell you that. They go, uh, you're in a loud environment, you know. Yeah, I know. I have ears, dummy. <laughs> How would I not know? Of course. <laughs> yeah, they think they know everything. Oh, it <laughs> it's very sunny out today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, why, do you, why do you put an accent is on it your Indian? robot? I don't think it's Indian. Yeah, you put an accent Indian. on your robot. It is very hot today. <laughs> that sounds like a robot Just to like me. our curry here at Tosh <laughs> Mabobs. Let me try again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it. Hey, hey, hey man, I am part Yo, motherfucker, loud <laughs> what you talking about. I am a robot. I am a I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot. Let them fight. Let them battle. I am a, a vending machine. Real quick, I have to say this. <laughs> Luke, Calvin, if I'm dead and you're listening to all the things I've done to catch up to know who your father was, I'm sorry I did the accent of your heritage. If it's anyone's allowed to do it. That's, Jap that's very specifically Japanese. But I don't know the difference. <laughs> now that's I'm sorry. Problem. I'm sorry, everyone. Hey, I'm putting Ooh. you over. Either do I. <laughs> My name is Greg. I'm a racist motherfucker. <laughs> How you all doing? <laughs> all right. Welcome back, boys. Welcome back. <laughs> I have a special coming out March 6th. Don't watch it. It's not like this. <laughs> Let them fight. Oh, let them thing. fight. Let them do. Okay, so you bring Luke and Yamanika to this battle box. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Three hours later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Greg's uh, robot voice. Anyway, continue. <laughs> I am really racist. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> hey, my children or something. <laughs> something. Yeah, he's allowed to. <laughs> so, so we kept going. It's set up. It's not real. It's all yeah. fake, like wrestling. So when we're meeting the robots, their robot puppeteer guys are there, and some of them were dressed like pirates. One was dressed like a ninja, you know, sure. like named after. They were dressed like the the robots' are names. And some guys dressed like a pirate. And Luke is standing here. I go, hey, Luke, why are you asking? This guy's got a question. He thinks this is all fake. <laughs> and the guy's like, no, it's not. What are you talking about? That's impossible. And Luke goes, no, I didn't. I never said that. <laughs> and Luke takes me aside. He's like, how dare you do that? <laughs> you probably embarrassed that man. And I go, and he's dressed like a fucking pirate. What are you talking he about? Said, you think it's you think it's the fake? And Walker's a plank. <laughs> You ever get one and you go, what are you doing, man? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> oh, wait, I loved it. Yeah, uh, I like this looking. Man. I'll tell you what you're doing with your life. You're living it. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a massage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'll do it right now. Are you good at massages? I don't know. I don't care. I'll just get away. What are we doing? Moving right along. If you could get in the comments, that would really help boost the algorithm. Uh, Everyone comment on Greg's special, some sort of robot racist. Yeah, if you like Greg's thing. special, go beat boo ba boo Jesus was a good. Uh, uh, my kids are going to hate me. So anyway, <laughs> what, do you, what do you do for a living? I like to do crowd work on podcasts. No one does that. <laughs> hey, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done sexually? You should do crowd work to the fan. How do you guys do it? Who out there? Is like, hey, you fucking her? Oh, I think you could. <laughs> Why? You just friends? Why be friends? Just fuck. This is what I say on stage. I hate myself. <laughs> anyway. I am. I am me. 
and that's <laughs> just have to be happy with that. I can't be anything else. What's the name of your special? <laughs> Nobody presents. Greg oh, Stone. that's awesome. Nobody presents. <laughs> Nobody Greg Stone. presents. I was Stone. gonna call that's it great. Anthony DeVito presents <laughs> Greg Stone, and then just make him do it. But then I said, ah, he's a nobody. I'll just call it Nobody Presents. <laughs> that would be a great joke about it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like, why is he presenting special? <laughs> In yeah. what world does yeah. he think? Yeah. He, uh, well, the original idea was if someone paid the full amount to have it done, it's their special. They was gonna be like, hey man, if you're just a garbage man. Jimmy the Garbage Man presents Greg Stone. That's your special. <laughs> oh, so you crowdfunded it. I did crowdfund it, and everybody paid for it, but nobody gave the full amount. It should be everybody presents. And if they... Yeah, it should be. That's not funny as funny Whoa, as Whoa, no, yet. but that's cool. Everybody presents Greg Stone because everybody likes you. <laughs> you can edit. You, you, you got friends. <laughs> no, I can't edit. I literally told the director. <laughs> I almost said you got robots. <laughs> I got robots. I got Chinese robots. <laughs> There's like, not after we heard the podcast. We were once <laughs> allies with you, <laughs> but not. The robot so you <laughs> characterize Ever us since I did like the podcast, that. my watch isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> the Wi-Fi's turning off. The Wi-Fi's against me. <laughs> It's like everyone knows we're from New Zealand. We're the New Zealand robots. Uh, yeah, no, no, eh? Robo, robo. No. Anyway, my birthday's June 19th if anyone wants to send me something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. What, what was the... Why did you go? Here you go, you're great. You, know, you want a massage? <laughs> what was that? Because no, there's I always words massage. happening. It's just what when just I open. Just say them, man. I, no, no, I do. I just, I just things are happening always, and at some points I open, and whatever comes out, that's what comes out. Yeah, and that's just, and I do. But I have to be, I have to not talk and let other people talk sometimes. You know what but I'm gonna do? You're talking. No one's talking. There's always talking. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> okay, from here on out, I'm just gonna go. Open. Sure. And then you'll just say the thing that's in your head. Isn't that weird, though? Open. That literally... Fingernails aren't that crazy. I mean, they're like little knives on your hands. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> Isn't it wow. weird, though, that also... That's that true. like a fully formed thought. Yeah. That was incredible. That was wild. <laughs> There's always someone talking. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Always. <laughs> the earth is never 100% silent. What? Isn't that weird? <laughs> The earth is never 100% silent? Yeah. What is silence? Whoa. You know what I mean? Because if you're on a star, you're on the moon, the earth is always silent. You can't hear them. I guess that's true. Right? My, if you get close enough, my fingernail, the knife, is probably <laughs> loud. It's growing. But right. at what <laughs> frequency, man? <laughs> and you guys should do a podcast. Uh, Holy uh, shit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like literally you guys are just watching this live podcast. <laughs> no, this is great. We got to get Open. more audience members. What? Open. Black lives matter. They do. But I don't think any lives matter. So <laughs> how can I stand behind them if I think that if we all die, it means nothing? <laughs> That's my big problem with the movement. I didn't say Fox Nothing News matters. Open. You never know. <laughs> that's the thing, thing man. You don't know that. what's going to be in the box. You can't yeah. say it because, yes, I want, le I police need to relax. Close. Go, 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 Different door, different door, different door. But reality is if you look far enough from anything, no one's life matters. So, yes, yours matter, but really no one matters. Make everything Shut. nothing again. Shut. <laughs> well, what is matters? Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Can I say this know? though? True fact. <laughs> my wife has a uh, magnet that says uh, food nutrition matters. Her, the, the nutritionist community tried to uh, steal the Black Lives Matter <laughs> mantra by being like, well, also nutrition matters. And I'm like, hey, guys, there's a thing happening over there. Maybe right. we'll get on it. Are you <laughs> it's kind of funny. I swear to God. There's a, they tried to co-opt it afterwards? Co yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> right. Their next, their next catchphrase is like, put your foot on the neck of diabetes. Right, <laughs> right. No justice. No Eat peas. A <laughs> yes. That's yes. A that's that's uh, it. And there's no other one. Yep. yep. <laughs> that's it. No what? justice. No peas. That was really good. You made some fucking shit George Floyd joke <laughs> four years later. Who's George Floyd? What? Who cares? The fuck? Oh just, just kidding. My. He's turned. Brendan just is turned. Yeah, He's turned. Close, close, turned. Close, 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 close. I thought we were putting each other yes, over. over. Yes, no, man. no more putting each other over. <laughs> Brendan is Brendan Brendan is stopped. <laughs> it's satirizing the market. <laughs> <laughs> What's the market? This podcast? Satirizing? <laughs> That's it's a word. making fun of the market? That's, <laughs> you stupid <laughs> fucking piece of corn. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> no justice, no peace. <laughs> <laughs> Open. 
Um, my my stepdad is uh, he like a beat us, but I get why he wanted us to be. <laughs> yeah, this is he the wanted, problem with Pandora's he, box. He <laughs> wanted me to. He was a cop, and he saw what happened when <laughs> things went bad. So, you know, he hit us, but he just didn't want us to see to see me on the other end of his gun, as he said to me. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. Okay, close. <laughs> All right. You, you don't know you're not. Not just close, but put it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna board up that door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And literally, you're talking to me, and that's what's happening in the background. That's the folder going on in the back. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was trans because then it wouldn't be like a guy who wants oh, to kill no. himself. It's just a woman. Like I would love to have a woman in there. And that you know came I mean? from us not even saying open. <laughs> Yeah. Well, sometimes they yeah. see what happens. That was just let it rip. Once yeah. the levees broke, they broke. Life you know I mean? finds a way. You know, Woo! in my head, in my yeah. head, there's a, there's a guy going, "We should eat that, eat that shitty food, kill that person, fuck that woman." And I'm like, "Dude, stop, stop, stop!" But if I was trans, maybe it would just be a girl going, "Hey, try on that dress, dance around." You know what I mean? Like, I would love that, but they probably also want to kill themselves too. That is a good point, actually. You know what I mean? I wish it was just a lady in there. That is a good point, actually. Like. <laughs> You, your, what, what makes your thoughts not bad when other people's thoughts are like accepted as like, oh, there's something telling me I need to be a woman, and there's something in you telling you I need to eat McDonald's and cheat on my wife. Yes, so absolutely. What's, what's so bad about what's the difference? Every time I talk to a man, I go, am I gonna have to kill this guy? And every single time, <laughs> the whole time you've been down. The here. three of you, I've already come up with plans. <laughs> if things went wrong, how I have to take you out. I don't want to, but that's happening. I wish it was just a person being like, I wish my dick was gone. Ah, it would be great. It's way better. Right. But you can. I can what? Think that. I'm trying. I'm trying. It ain't taking Try brother. It. What are all the ways you would kill us? Yeah. Oh, for Let's real? Get back yeah. to that. Well, I'd have to oh, like. Oh, let me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> You've already thought about killing us. Immediately, is elbow him because just so I got to get to you guys before you react. And I grab that mouse, I shove it in Anthony's mouth, and then I bite you. <laughs> and then I got to run out as far as I can. I bite you. you. What about nuts. Ethan? Well, he's very light. Well, so, I would, so, so, wouldn't kill none any of us. These are going to kill anyone. <laughs> well, it's just to get out. You, think, bite to kill you me. think in the moment <laughs> oh, from get out, his belly to that mouth, <laughs> mouse, his mouth is going to be like this the whole time. <laughs> he would be like, Greg, what are you doing? You're going to have to fight with him to put that mouse. And by then, I'm I'm hitting you with this. Well, so it's all one motion. No, no yeah. not not no this. You're, the you're sound in, at me. Well, I would you're in your shock. Dick. That's the only way to slow you down. <laughs> it gets and it gets him to stop. Yeah. He just hears the noise yeah, yeah. and he goes. You hear this? Oh. And you go. <laughs> what have I been doing? <laughs> Truthfully, uh, this, I hate to say this. That only I don't ever have to think, minutes. You're one of the only people that I don't ever think how I have to take out because mm. we've been friends for so long that I would die. If you went crazy, you wanted to kill me, I would die. That's okay. By the way, not for nothing, well, but there is a baseball bat right there, and he did not mention baseball bat at all. Because I'm just trying to, because by the time I got to that bat, this guy's on me. Because he's not smart. Oh, buddy. Once oh. we went full tilt <laughs> from not putting each other oh. over, it's, oh. it's taking a turn. Yeah, really? It's now the enemy's cast, Sagalow. and this guy is a happy exactly. day for him as yeah. the market has You're been satirized. You're talking about killing us? <laughs> he said. He started the enemy's cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. enemy's cast. He started the enemy's cast. Yeah. I don't think you're not smart. I well, think you're incredibly well, intelligent. If there's a guy in my head who's constantly being like, you see how stupid you are, Greg? He knows it. Ian even knows. <laughs> even he's telling his truth for the first time now. But if you had thought of a better way to kill us, then i go, all right, you are smart. Yeah, well, the reality There's also is... a symbol right there that you could have, like, sliced one of our uh, jugulars with. No, that's the easy way. How to would you to... kill us right now? Um, well. Too slow. Yeah, too slow, I guess. I mean, I haven't been thinking about it every minute that this podcast <laughs> has been going on. But I guess. <laughs> yes. yes. I think I would grab this yeah. and I'd smash. Oh. And then I'd stand up and I'd grab that bat and I'd just start beating. I'd hit you once in the head. Ow. And uh -huh. then I'd to you. But then I would go, fire! Whoa! <laughs> he threw fire everyone that's in audio oh only. He God. just threw fire at us. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's listening. What if he went you up? You don't get this anymore now. If Why? <laughs> is it satirizing? <laughs> I'll light this fucking whole thing on fire. If Brendan just I'll went light up this whole thing in flames over. and then we also continued the podcast because I really got to promote my special, <laughs> I got to be like, oh, I got Brendan! But also March 6th, guys, I need the views. I got to monetize. Anyway. All right, I feel like we're good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got it on that. <laughs> All right, let's try something new. Fun. Everybody play an instrument at the uh, at the end of the uh, podcast. But first, go through your plugs. 
When does this come out? It comes out in two weeks. The twentieth. Okay. Oh, so my my special has already failed miserably. Stop! No power, oh, positive come on. thinking. You're right. You're right. It's what has amid- happened to your special already? It's already got one million views from people who are spite watching because they think I look so much like John Lovitz. That was a wild posture spin. That was the craziest posture spin. Okay, tell where can they find your special? It's on YouTube. Type in "Nobody Presents uh, Greg Stone." And what is your YouTube? YouTube is Greg Stone. YouTube.com slash Greg Stone. I think. I think you just type in Greg Stone, you'll find me. I'm really trying to help you. I appreciate it. I didn't come prepared. I didn't come prepared. I don't know who I am anymore. Okay, we'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Sagalo, your your plugs? Nashville, it's a city, city winery, the 28th. Come on out to that. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to be at Governor's. <laughs> <laughs> on the 19th and the 20th. <laughs> and then I got soldiers. <laughs> on the 26th <laughs> of April. Those are all April dates except for the uh, city winery one, which is in this week. Hey, nice. nice. Yeah. 20, so come on out to that and uh, follow me on everything. And where can they get tickets? I have to use this. I know. I want to hold it. BrendanSaglo.com. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That's a wake-up call. Oh, my. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at comedian Anthony DeVito. And uh, I have a don't tell comedy uh, thing that I think is good. So watch that on YouTube. It is good. Nice. Yeah. It is good. It yeah. Is. yeah. That's it. I like that you didn't use that for its intended purpose. You just played one note. That's all you can handle. I mean, this thing is <laughs> it's supposed uh, to go like this. It's a slide. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, just, just make, it, make love just to give it. Give less. Yeah. yeah. Make, make love to it. <laughs> You heard give less from him. That means, whoa, you got to cool it. Uh, EFinance.com for all my dates. May 5th, I'm headlining the Hollywood Improv for Netflix is a Joke Fest. Let's pack it out. EFinance.com for tickets. I'm also coming to Springfield, Missouri. Uh, Austin, Creek in the Cave, April 5th and 6th. Uh, Beanie in with Jordan. Uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash Beanie and Pod. Uh, and JordanJensen.com or punchuplive.com slash Jordan Jensen for all her dates and uh thank you guys so much for coming man you guys are the best get off your phone thank you so much yeah but we're the camera's still on (laughs) just be nice for a minute hello julius caesar (laughs) (laughs) julius orange orange julius oh i'll kill myself prove a point (laughs) Uh, no i suck (laughs) you don't suck i suck all right everybody (laughs) instruments out (laughs) let's go molest stars Molest oh, stars. stars. Molest stars. Yes. That's our band. Yes. She loves you. Yeah. We're talking about children in that song. <laughs> One. Greg, get it. One, two, three. See you next time. Everybody wants the last one. <laughs> Thank you.